it's Sunday morning, nine o'clock, and even though there was quite a bit of snow last night, um, the, the wind this morning is really quite mild. It's like a mild breeze, and so everything's melting quickly. You can see that the large snowman that was here has collapsed. And uh, the snow is quickly receding now. We'll have a look at the temperatures. Yeah, so it's 7.5 degrees now, you can feel the warmth. That's what it is in Fahrenheit. But Sunday afternoon, what you can see here is on the left, the old track, and on the right, they've been renewing the track. And you can see the new gravel as well with it. And they've been doing that at night time. Uh, sometimes you hear a bit of work so that at night. So that's been going on. We're, we're, it's Sunday afternoon. We're currently just, just outside the Homestead Estate. It's crossing over the bridge. And just wanted to show you that track relaying they've been doing and track maintenance. Uh, along the line. There's Stephanie. And now we'll have a look down here, see what's happening. It's the uh, temperature has gone up to about 12 degrees. So even though there's a little bit of snow, it's melting quickly now. And the sun's out as a warm air. So just in Menston, but along the train line, we just walk from the bridge over here and then walking and there's some big lorry out, see what this is. But we just walk, you can see that the other side of the wharf valley there. And we're heading basically towards the direction of the railway line and that, that way is where we're heading. Have a little walk. So, there's some uh, puddly bits here but uh, most of it's uh, hard ground that's okay so we didn't really expect to be that the puddles here it's unbelievable in this little section. We're ready for the you've been framed moment. Be unblocking a little block in a sewer down there, Yorkshire Water Vehicle. Uh, look at that, that's too, totally novel, that tree, isn't it? This house is called Fortune. Well, I mean, this has been novel historically here, and then them trees there that have been taken back. This had for a long time on the route had all scaffolding up, and it, it's a funny thing that isn't it? Must be going to render up that because the brick and it goes to breeze blocks. And then they've, they've covered it with like a sort of a fascia of stone on that side and on there. So maybe they'll cover it with a fascia of stone around there as well. And that's what they might do. But um, they've rebuilt that a lot because it was had scaffolding and sheeting over the entire house um, while they were raising it up. So I think that's had a, quite a big extension on there. And it looks like another one up here because there's another builder's toilet we can see. We're past that um, Waitrose delivery van. So we'll have a look, see what's uh, going on with that. Dead end, there's other big houses down there, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a look and see what uh, renovations are going on up here. I'm not sure what's going on there. It must be something around the back of the house, maybe, or internal works. That's a cement, some insulation. We're not quite sure. And then on that one, that's got some scaffolding up there, repairing the, the roof or the chimney, do you think, up there, repointing maybe on the top? I'm not quite sure. So just a bit of repointing work up there. You can see some of these nice big houses, some of them are semi-detached, but they're still massive. So there's this funny little stretch of road here where it goes to the old cobbles. 
tarmac on that side, tarmac on that side, but then cobbles just down this little bit here. And I think some of these gardens here are belong to the houses up there. So there's like a lawn and things here, but it's not part of a attached to another house on that side, and I think maybe to do, you know, belongs to them houses. So we've got snow and it's about 12 degrees, so that's quite an unusual setup, isn't it? Good job you played out last night to make the most of it, Stephanie, isn't it? Yeah. So this is one of the bits where you've got the old part of Menston, but then down there is where they built the new houses. Up there, we're just with fields when we moved here, just there. That's the old Fairfax Hall there. 1600s, I think. That one. This comes up towards Bleach Mill Lane, just down on this this corner here. see what they've done there they've cut away some of the hillside and then pinned it for stability and then they flattened that bit of land there and then they're going to build the houses there to get good views from these houses Scaffolding up here, look. You wouldn't have thought you'd need scaffolding when it's that low down, wouldn't you? Just that bit of oh. work there. These uh, shrubs, the, the laurel hedging, has grown up quite fast actually, because we used to just been newly planted. When we moved here, we're quite surprised because there's a hedge behind it. So I don't know why they're maybe they're going to get rid of the Lilandi hedge and extend the garden there. Not sure. Hello. Hello. When you get past that end house there, it just opens out into the fields now. Okay, Wharfdale. to go somewhere like that and uh, but it looks like they must have recently cut that, uh, that one next to it as well or cut the logs off it because they've been blocking the access track or something like that. Let's see what's happened here. The sinkhole, look at that. Ooh. There's a pipe broken there, a drainage pipe. The water is blue, a like grey. And uh, they've had to excavate it out because of the, the broken pipe. Yeah. Dry on this section of track here. And this leads down to a stream, I think it just runs down there. And uh, you can see the lake, the little pond there. I don't know if you can see the tree, see it there. That pond, well, that was the sort of pond for the mill, which was the bleach mill. bleaching process and everything at the mill there and this track was made for people from the village of Menston to be able to just walk to work at the mill the bleaching mill clear uh, clean all the textiles and everything The stream, which presumably pa helped power some of the mill and the bleaching process and all that, it's got quite a bit of water in it from the snow melt. 
pouring out quite fast there. And then this is the little lake here, which has got the uh, few ducks on it. Look there. These are the grounds of the mill. There were other features here. You can still see the remaining parts of it, which people live in. Uh, I think before COVID, there was like a, a, a coffee room here. Uh, but um, yeah, that's the grounds of the mill there. So we're on the Dalesway link, at the Leeds and Ebo way. But we're not going to go further down there because it's getting a bit too muddy down there. So we're going to head back. Somebody here has got a post box in their garden because this used to be the Minster post office. Well, it's just somebody's house now, but it's still an active post box and everything. Just there. So we're back in Menston now, that's the hedge train. That's where the hedge train is, it's the, the old school buildings, there's the undertakers there as well. And then uh, there's unusual little set shops here, just barbers and things, hairdressers. Uh, there. And then you've got this another hair salon here. So we've actually got three, three, three hairdressers next to each other. There. Family hairdressing and then the hairdressers there. I don't know what that thing in the middle is. Got the tree protected from the frost there. And then we've got the views. Head back down the hill towards the railway line. More work going on here, look. A little extension going on to the side of the edge, the small one hardly seems worth it, does it? Wharf view up there. Few similar style just on here with these little garages with the wood for the garage, but people have got slightly different colour stains on the wood. Uh, but these are sort of similar, all similar, and they've all got these little things sticking out there, like little loft things sticking out the side there above the garage. They've converted their garage to another room on that side, whereas on that side they've kept it as a garage. Homestead Estate now, and you can see it's uh, the stream is pouring along today. Not doing that nice noise, bubbling along. 